Welcome to my YouTube channel which is titled Research Methods Class with Dr. Lydia Wabugo. In this class, we discuss everything social science research from understanding the research discipline, research philosophy, the elements of scientific research, and the methodologies of conducting research. In research methods, we have a book titled Research Methods, Theory and Practice. This book is accessible through the website where you can access the hard copy of the book or a downloadable PDF format of the book. In the same website, you are able to access all the courses which includes the free research methods course, IBM SPSS statistics course, M&E consultancy course which are available at a fee. Please find the links in the description. Welcome. Welcome to our class today where we are going to discuss hypothesis. In our previous lesson, we have discussed section 1.3 which is purpose of the study, 1.4 which is objectives of the study, and 1.5 which is research question. So in this lesson, we are going to discuss section 1.6 which is on hypothesis. Now, as you write hypothesis, at the E means multiple and I means one. So when you write hypothesis with IS, that is one hypothesis, but with ES, it means multiple or more than one. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the meaning of hypothesis and discuss the types of hypothesis. Please remember that you do not need to have objectives, research questions, and hypotheses in your study. However, the structure is dependent on your institution and in your discipline. So, when we began this topic, we listed the 12 sections of the research proposal. So, so far we have discussed the five sections and now we are moving to the sixth one and i hope you remember that there are section 1.1 1.2 1.3 1 1.7 because they are in chapter one so a hypothesis is a prediction about the relationship or the difference between variables i know there are many definition of a hypothesis can be called an educated guess a wild guess but in research it predicts the relationship or the difference between variables so a hypothesis tells us that a relationship or difference exists between independent and dependent variables moderating and dependent variables intervening and dependent variables or a combination of those variables. There are various types of hypotheses, but in this lesson, we are going to discuss two which are commonly stated and tested in social science. And the first one is the null or statistical hypothesis. The null hypothesis states that no relationship or no difference exists between the variables. Now, you may be wondering why we are talking about a relationship or a difference. Now, when you talk about relationship is when you are relating or when you are testing hypotheses regarding categorical variables. But when you talk about the difference, you talk about the difference when you are talking about means or when you have continuous variables and we talked about that at the quantitative analysis so null hypothesis is the hypothesis that the researcher tests and it is denoted by h naught or h o for instance there is no significant relationship between learning environment and academic performance of bachelor of education science distance and on-campus learners at the university of nairobi as long as you say there is no that is a null hypothesis 
Then we have alternative hypotheses which are also called experimental hypotheses which are denoted by H1 or HA. Now this hypothesis tells us that a relationship exists between the variables. We have two types of alternative hypotheses, directional and non-directional. Directional gives the direction of the relationship. And by direction it tells us when we have the normal curve, will you be testing the hypothesis on the positive side or on the negative side? That is why when you state a hypothesis like there is a positive significant relationship between learning environment and academic performance of Bachelor of Education Science distance and on-campus learners at the University of Nairobi, you have already given it the direction. It will be tested on the positive side and that is why a directional hypothesis leads to a one-tail test. Now, non-directional does not give us the direction and that is why it is denoted by the equal sign that is crossed. So we are saying they are not equal, but we do not know the direction. So when we say there is a significant relationship between learning environment and academic performance of Bachelor of Education Science distance and on-campus learners at the University of Nairobi, we have not given it the direction. And that is why we are saying it leads to a two-tailed test because you will test it on both sides, be they positive or the, on the negative and on the positive side. So we do not give it the direction. Now, when we are developing our proposal, we state alternative hypotheses in chapter one of the proposal, and it is prudent to state the non-directional. Do not state the directional. Let your data, when you analyze, tell you whether it, the relationship is positive or not. So set the non-directional alternative. But when you get to chapter 4, when you are analyzing your data, change it to a null because we normally test the null hypothesis. Now, why do we state hypothesis? A hypothesis test helps us to evaluate two mutually exclusive statements about a population to determine which statement is best supported by the sample data. As we discussed the uh, data analysis in our previous lesson, we talked about inferential statistics and we said we infer the population parameters based on the sample statistics. We normally use probability when we are testing hypotheses so that we can infer the population parameters. We can only do that when we have stated hypotheses. So when we state hypotheses, we normally test them using inferential statistics to determine the probability that a, a specific hypothesis is true. We said this hypothesis is either the null or the alternative. And we have said they are mutually exclusive because the two cannot exist at the same time. Either there is no relationship or either there is a relationship. And when we test hypothesis, it clears the two. Is there a relationship or there is no relationship? So when we have collected data, we accumulate evidence for the purpose of determining which of the two is true and which of the two is false. Why? Because they cannot exist together. We cannot have the two conditions occurring together. And this brings us to the end of our lesson where we have explained the meaning of hypothesis and explained how we test and the types of hypothesis. In our next lesson, we are going to discuss section 1.6 to 1.8 of chapter 1 of the research proposal. But before then, make sure you visit the researchmethodsclass.com website where you can watch the full research methods course. You can also access other courses on SPSS and M&E consultancy. You are also able to book for consultation 
and you can also buy the research methods ebook so see you in our next lesson as we talk about section 1.6 to 1.8 of the research proposal